Session 1, Prehistory, 11,000 to 7,000 years ago. Before history began, there was love. It was expressed in art in the form of small stone carvings, such as this one from the Ain Akri Caves near modern Bethlehem, depicting two lovers in mid-coital embrace resembling the shape of a human heart muscle, dating from 11,000 years ago. The human who carved this artifact lived in the Levant, or Fertile Crescent, region among a tribe of up to a hundred people, who archaeologists call the Natufians. They settled the lands of the Kebaran cave dwellers, their ancestors, who had moved from the upland steppes in summer to the lower lakeside caves in winter from 20,000 to 12,000 years ago. The Natufians invented the sickle for harvesting wild grains and were the first people to domesticate the growing of figs, which they imported from the area of Sudan in northeastern Africa, south of the Nile, across the Red Sea from the Sinai Peninsula. The records of civilization as we define it today can be dated only so long ago as the semi-sedentary dwelling place Ainan Malaha by Lake Hula, founded around 12,000 years ago. Here has been found the earliest evidence of animal domestication, the burial of a person with a pet dog. 11,500 years ago, the Natufian tribes people spread to the east and settled at Abu Haraya Mound, near the south bank of the Euphrates River. Here, about 300 people dwelt in round brush huts with holes in the floor for storing food to keep it cool. The Natufians soon expanded to the foothills of the Taurus Mountains, where they built square stone houses at Neval Khori on both banks of the Cantara Stream, a tributary of the Euphrates. Here they settled, and nearby at Gobikli Tape, Turkish for Potbelly Hill, they erected the first megalithic structures. Although the purpose of these strange T-shaped stone pillars surrounded by circular stone walls remains a mystery to modern archaeologists due to the many carvings on their surfaces of animals, including the scorpion and birds seen here, it may be they were built as large storehouses for the cultivation of cereal grains such as rye, which have been found dating from around 11,050 years ago at Abu Haraya Mound. 10,500 years ago, the Natufian people built the city of Jericho, six acres of round mud-brick houses, housing some two to three thousand people. 10,000 years ago, they built a wall 5 feet thick and 15 feet tall surrounding the city, with a lone lookout tower nearly 30 feet tall. Around that time, the settlement of Abu Horea seems to have been abandoned, with the Natufians of the foothills moving northwest behind the fortified wall of the Jericho proto-city, or to nearby Asikli Hayuk, founded around 10,000 years ago on volcanic turf near Melinda's Brook. The first evidence of making beads for use as jewelry dates from this time at a Seekly Mound using azurite, amber, jade, and bone. 9,500 years ago, the Natufians built up Katel Hayuk, Turkish for Fork Mound, on twin alluvial clay mounds, 
the eastern of which rises 66 feet above the Konya Plains wheat field. With the Karsamba River flowing between them from the twin coned Hassan Dag volcano, some 87 miles to the northwest. 9,300 years ago, settlers moved back into Abu Harea, and by this time were herding animals and sun baking molded mud to form the world's first pottery. 9,250 years ago, the Natufians constructed Ein Ghazal, a complex of up to 3,000 rectangular, two-room, lime-plastered mud wall houses stretching across 30 acres, some four or five times the size of contemporary Jericho. At Ein Ghazal, the people herded domesticated goats, wove hair fibers into fabrics, and cultivated a wide variety of cereals, including wheat and barley, and legumes, beans, peas, and lentils. The Natufians of Ein Ghazal were also the first to make face masks and one-half life-size dolls from painted white plaster, using cowrie shells for eyes. Some of the dolls have a limbless rectangular torso and two heads. At Ein Ghazal, the Natufians buried their dead in two ways. One was preservation of the deceased's severed head in a grave beneath their family house. The other was disposal of the body in the communal waste pits. From 8,100 to 7,500 years ago, the Natufians became the Halaf and Hasuna painted pottery cultures. Inventors of the wheel, pressed leaf paper, and the engraved cylinder seal. Katul Hayuk remained continuously populated until 7,700 years ago. Abu Hayriya and Ein Ghazal were abandoned 7,000 years ago. From 7,500 to 6,800 years ago, the Neolithic Halaf and Hasuna cultures became the Caltholithic Samaran culture. They migrated southeast and settled in Choga, Mami, Tel Sawan, and Sur Marathi on the alluvial clay plain between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers near the northern shore of the Persian Gulf. They built massive canal systems to irrigate vast tracts of crops, and from 6,800 years ago had invented metal sickle blades, the horse-drawn chariot, and sailboats. By 5,400 years ago, the cuneiform alphabet had evolved into the use of clay tokens as money, and by 5,000 years ago, cities were built covering up to 250 acres to house as many as 20,000 people. Session 2 Sumerian Civilization 7,000 to 6,000 years ago Part 1 The Sumerians Here we can see how the Sumerians depicted themselves. This collection of varying sized dolls shows shirtless, bearded men with long hair and women with bobbed or bunned hair wearing togas. All hold their hands together before their hearts in the supplicant gesture. This bust of an Adamu worker shows the typical facial features of a Sumerian youth. The lips are thin, the eyes large and almond-shaped, usually made of cowrie shells, and the forehead is marked by the distinctive unibrow of Sumerian art. Here we see a small diorite statue of Gudea of Lagash from 4,130 years ago. Note his bare feet, his round, bearded crown, and his seated supplicant position. The inscription on his robe is in cuneiform, the alphabetic language of Sumer. 
Here we see the legal code of Hammurabi, written 3,760 years ago in the alphabetic language of cuneiform. In this incredible alphabetic language, we find long texts engraved on clay, such as this one, describing observations of the passing of Halley's Comet. In this fragmented relic, we see an ancient Sumerian map of the globe. From this era dates the writing of the first work of novel fiction and predecessor to the Torah. In this cylinder seal, we see a scene from the Epic of Gilgamesh, where Gilgamesh and Enkidu kill Humbaba. Next, we see another depiction showing the same event engraven on stone. Also engraven on stone is this tablet containing a portion of the 4,500-year-old story describing an ancient worldwide flood that occurred before the beginning of recorded history.